We've just chopped off part of our finger. Which is why we're screaming. Wow. <laughs> Cold finger, I love that. <laughs> and this girl is quite mysterious. She says that she is a photographer, but we don't know quite what her story is. It's an amazing game, this. I mean, I've, I've bitched about the clunkiness that controls, and that's. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. that girl doing there? Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. going inside. Maybe she lives there. Lost just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word.
They're still out there. We've got to find another way. You can't get out that way. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. They're in the alley. Follow them. The subway. Damn. That's gotta really suck. And we're back to this copper guy. Now this guy is interesting because he seems to have almost like blackouts, kind of similar to when um, uh, that Ethan has where he kind of loses control of his body, so it'd be interesting finding I'm out what's happening here. You, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't believe you're guilty. I know that sounds strange, but I have my reasons. But you are going to have to help me to prove your innocence because the odds are stacked against you.
you've lost, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? Ethan, say something, for God's sake! I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. But the only way to find him to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. You don't remember anything, but you think you're the origami killer. I'm sorry, Ethan, but you're gonna have to do a lot better than that if you want me to believe you. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. Ah! Wrong answer. I am. If you beat him, his confession's worthless. Now throw the case out. Oh! Even if he is a killer, that doesn't give you the right to beat him. Whose side are you on, Norman? Are you defending this piece of shit? I'm defending the law, and the law says he is innocent until proven guilty. This guy's got no rights, do you hear me? No rights at all! You fuck! Now you're gonna tell me what I wanna know or I'm gonna fuck it! Carter, stop. I'm gonna report you for this. Go ahead, get the hell out of here. I couldn't stand you from the very beginning, Norman. Now get the fuck out! Now guys, I'm just trying to find what the hell to do next. So sorry about the, uh, sorry about this, I'm just wondering what the hell to do. Okay, so I just want to go back in. Okay, now um, I'm about to run out of time. You guys might see my little beaver sometime. Um, if you guys like the videos, let me know. Um, tell me. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in a moment.